Caritas Nigeria has unveiled a situation room to monitor the progress of the 2023 elections. This development was made known during a press conference held at the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, CSN. CTV News was there. As Nigerians prepare to vote for their leaders in the 2023 general election, Caritas Nigeria has unveiled a situation room where the general public can get real-time information on the elections. Speaking in a press conference in Abuja, the Executive Secretary of Caritas Nigeria, Reverend Father Uchi Oborechina, outlined some of the areas that the Catholic Church is contributing to the success of the 2023 general elections. For the 2023 general election, the Church has put measures and structures in place to ensure free, fair and credible elections. The deployment of expertly trained election observers and the establishment of a situation room for the collation and analysis of reports and data are significant steps in that direction. Election observation, as the name implies, is an exercise in political and civic rights as well as a veritable tool for improving the quality of elections in different democracies across the world. Election observation helps in detecting and deterring electoral fraud and tracking them when they occur. It helps in the correction of errors and irregularities before, during, and after elections. For these reasons, the Catholic Church in Nigeria, through Caritas Nigeria, has undertaken the following lines of action designed to support and strengthen the electoral process. One, she deployed 6,000 accredited and citizen observers in the 36 states of the Federation of the FCT. This is the highest number by any single mission in Nigeria for this particular election. She has also developed and deployed a mobile election observation arm. This would be used by all the deployed observers in tracking and reporting the relevant activities during the elections across the 57 dioceses in Nigeria. For this fit, she is grateful to her development partners, especially Carford and Sierras. In using the mobile app, the church is implementing the parallel vote tabulation. PPT system, which will assist in the authentication of the accuracy of results as announced by INEC. It tracks the results and compares same with the official INEC publications. Father Bodoichina also charged the electorate to go out and vote while calling on INEC to remain neutral. To provide the model, the medium for evidence-based analysis scenario building and constructive engagement with relevant stakeholders in the election using the reports from the observers in the field and sharing authentic information therefrom. It will start today, the 24th day of February, of February 2023, to cover the presidential and national assembly elections and reconvene on Friday, the 10th of March 2023 for the 28 monetary elections and the 993 states houses of assembly seats across the country. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, remember, it's our bounding duty to participate actively in the electoral process, in electing our leaders and in holding them accountable before the post parliament, while urging INEC and its collaborators to remain neutral and impartial in the electoral processes, we call on the government of Muhammad Buhari and especially the security architecture of this country to do all within its powers to ensure free, fair, and credible elections that would usher in a new dawn in our national political history and advance the posterity because of our national